Light's probably gonna go in and out, but whatever. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya Archer, if you're new here. And on my channel, I do mostly natural hair videos. And on top of that, I just wanna add that I am not a hair stylist. I am not a hairdresser professionally. I'm just a natural hair girl who went natural and is trying to learn how to manage and style her hair. That is it. That is plain and simple what I do on my channel. I'm not calling this a tutorial. I'm not calling this a look at me do my hair because this is how it's done. I am just showing you my process. Okay, so let's not go crazy. All right. <laughs> but back to the point of this video. Oh, my neighbors are back from vacation. The point of this video is to show you guys how I achieve one of my like favorite hairstyles that I wear often that I feel like I've conquered and I'm good at now. Um, and that is my big, fluffy, curly afro. This is gonna be like a chit chat style video. Why is there so much noise? This is gonna be a chit chat style video because um, you guys seem to like that better. The very first thing I did to achieve this look is wash my hair, make sure it's 100% clean because we don't want no flake or residue. I also deep conditioned it so that it's nice and soft. And then I added my moisturizer and at the moment I'm le using the Cantu leave-in conditioner thing. And I also added some oil, a mixture of castor oil and coconut oil. And then after that, I just braided my hair down and left it for a couple of hours until it dried. My hair only takes a couple of hours to dry because I'm blessed. Your hair might take a, li a little bit longer, so leave it in until it's dry. Leave the braids in until it's dry. So there they are. There are my braids. You don't have to make the braids completely neat or anything like that. They just need to... They just, they just need to be there, okay? They just need to be there. Making sure my braids are dry is like the most important part of this look, to be honest, because if it's not 100% dry, then it's just not gonna be as big. It's just not gonna work. The whole, the whole thing ruined it. So the point of the braids is just to stretch my hair, give it its like maximum length, um, so that my fro will be bigger. Now I'm just running my pick through it, making sure that it's completely detangled and ready for my perm rods. My hair is already really moisturized and um, oiled up, so I'm not gonna be adding any additional moisture to my hair, but instead I'll just be using my black Eco Styler Gel and my perm rods to curl and achieve that really voluptuous look. And to do so, I'm just gonna take a little part, a little section. It doesn't have to be straight, but make sure that it's detangled. And then take a diamond size amount of the gel and add it to just the tips of the hair, or like half. And then I'm gonna take the perm rod and put it under And then I'm gonna roll towards my forehead, making sure that I cover the perm rod with my hair and not roll the hair around itself. I'm not gonna go all the way to my root, just about maybe halfway there. And then just secure the perm rod and that's it section out a piece of hair, add the eco styler to the very tip or half of the hair, and then grab the perm rod, placing it under the strands, and then rolling up and towards my forehead, halfway, and then just securing. Because my hair is shorter at the sides, I actually just roll the perm rod all the way down instead of halfway to my scalp because it just allows the curl to look better. If I were to just do it halfway and my hair is so short, it doesn't really look as good. I also add the gel to the entire part or section of my hair. And like I said, I roll completely 
down to my scalp. This is definitely my summer go-to hairstyle. I don't really do this in the winter time because the winter does not deserve to see my hair look cute, no. You guys know that song by Kess, the band? Or I guess he just goes by Kess now. It's like, hello, 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 hello. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Hello, 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 hello. I think it came out in 2017, but I'm now hearing it, so. That is it for the perm rods, guys. And I'm just gonna tie down my hair. Um, I usually put on a satin bonnet on top of this. But since it's so early in the day and I'm gonna be leaving this in overnight, I'm just gonna put this on for now and then right before bed, I'll put on my satin bonnet over it. I just want it to breathe and get some air so it can dry faster and better. And that's it, I'm gonna let this dry and then in the morning, just take it out and I'll show, I'll show you what I do after I take it out. I am in the mood for like summertime and carnival and just like, soca reggae and dance hall so i'm gonna live through these vlogs and videos <laughs> it is currently now 4 25 and i had these in for approximately 20 hours now or about 22 hours so i'm pretty sure it's dry taking these down is completely 100 percent simple i just remove it by unclipping it or unhooking it and then i coat my fingers Actually, I'm going to remove all of them first. They're all out, and as you can see, this is not the look that we want. This is not very flattering for me personally. I don't like this. I'm going to further fluff it by separating um, each perm rod curl and before I do that I'm just going to coat my fingers with some oil then I'm going to stretch out the hair and run the oil down the hair strands and then just separate them as I separate I'm just going to curl it around my finger like so and then I end up with a look like this as you can see it's super shiny and really curly and I'm just gonna continue doing this throughout my entire head of hair Perm rods are out and I separated the curls a bit. I'm gonna go in with my pick and um, just raise the roots a little bit, bring the front a little bit forward, make like a little bang effect, and then raise the top. I'm trying to be careful not to completely comb out the curls because I've done that many times and it's frustrating. As you can see, there's a lot of frizz to my hair, but I absolutely love, I love it frizzy. I usually just pull down the curls at the front onto my forehead to add a bang <laughs> delusion. And that is it for this style. It's so simple. It's my go-to hairstyle, something that I know will never fail me, even if it comes out really really frizzy it still looks good because i love the frizz and it's just big and i feel like it suits my the, the shape and size of my head really well so i'm gonna stick with this hairstyle for a while and 
And that is it for this look and for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And as I say in almost all of my videos, I am not a professional. So if you guys have any suggestions on ways I can make this style better or any suggestions for my hair, please leave it in the comment section below and I will gladly read it and take your advice. Um, yeah, that's it really. I will catch you guys in my next video. Toodles!